Welcome to The Daily Crossing. We actually want to do a mini review of, of a book that's been around now for, for a few years. Uh, and we're actually going to concentrate on one aspect of the book. I hope most of you who are watching this channel also enjoy the process of reading and hopefully you do some writing and get involved in, on, on significant conversations. You know, the reason why I wanted to show you uh, this book again, you know, hopefully you've seen it before, hopefully you're familiar with the author. Uh, this is the 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson. Uh, if you know something about Peterson, you probably either like him or you hate him, right? It's, uh, the man has been um, either a very friendly face and voice to so many people, and for some reason, you know, also became a controversial voice for a lot of the people. Before running into Jordan Peterson, my, my favorite writer for, you know, I grew up uh, reading a lot of uh, Miguel de Unamuno. Don Miguel de Unamuno is a Spanish writer from Spain, um, 18, late 1800s, you know, it, uh, philosopher, uh, poet, uh, a novelist, you know, it's a, an incredible amount of material. You know, the the tragic sense of life, one of my favorites from from Don Miguel de Unamuno. Uh, it also has a um, a book called Niebla or Nebula, or, or uh, you, you know, which in many ways is probably one of the five favorite books that, that from this man. In addition to uh, uh, San Manuel Bueno Martin, an incredible am amount of books. I read during that, the, during that time that I was reading Miguel de Unamuno, I was doing most of the reading in, in Spanish. You know, Spanish is my native language, is my, my main language. I'm not trying to sound like Julio Iglesias on purpose. Uh, I was born somewhere else, but that was the writer that I connected the most. I, 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 I truly appreciated his perspective of life, God, uh, relationship with uh, religion, the church, politics, in general, very interesting ideas about uh, existence and being alive, responsibilities of people, things that we can do uh, to better understand who we are as individuals. But then comes uh, Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, I come across Peterson literally by accident. Is This is, uh, I, I, I was watching a debate, uh, I was absolutely following Sam Harris, and some of you would be probably familiar with Sam Harris. Uh, and I come across Peterson in a debate that's taking place with Sam Harris. Now, if anybody has seen Sam Harris debate before, you know that what you're going to watch is Sam Harris winning a debate. Uh, this is the first time that I saw him struggling. And I'm like, who is this guy that's actually debating with Sam Harris, right? And I started to look into it, and then I realized that he had a very robust uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I started to watch many of his videos, especially, uh, um, you know, all the content that was connected to the biblical stories. And then it comes across this book. Now, I'm only going to stay in one of the rules, and one of the rules only, because obviously it's 12 rules for life. That means that there's 12 rules to talk about, but I just wanted to speak to you about rule number two, which is treat yourself as someone you are responsible for helping. You know, regardless of whether you like the man or don't like the man, that is a message that every single one of us needs to take very seriously, especially when you look around right now. You know, the economy is a little shaky, uh, not only in the United States, but the economy is getting complicated, you know, th throughout the planet. We have wars going on right now. The whole situation with Russia and Ukraine, very complicated. We're going into probably what's going to be one of the most politically uh, uh, con contested and, and, and probably one of the most um, risky, uh, even potentially dangerous, you know what I mean, uh, presidential election. We don't know how this is going to come out and how things are going to fall into place. But this is a moment where you actually need to be paying attention about yourself. Treat yourself as someone you're responsible for helping. He, he puts forward a phenomenal uh, example about, uh, you know, somebody visiting a doctor and, 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 you know, especially for men, how difficult it is to just agree to go to a doctor. And then from going to the doctor to uh, getting that prescription and taking that prescription to the pharmacy. And then after they taking the prescription out of the pharmacy and assuming that you did all of that, there still is a possibility that you're not going to take the medicine, right? Um, which, by the way, that, that changes the moment that we're doing, that we're doing exactly all of the steps but for somebody else. Even if, you, if we just talk about pets, right? You, you will definitely do whatever you need to do for your pets, and you will do it timely, and you will do it faithfully 
we apparently we don't have the ability to do that for ourselves. You know, it's very easy to see people uh, finding greater, motiv greater motivation sometimes to help other people. And that sounds extremely noble sometimes, right? And, 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 and for many people, they say, well, that's extremely admirable, right? That somebody is willing to sacrifice for other people. The problem is that if you are the source of something, right, you have to make sure that you replenish whatever it is that you're given, whether it's money, whether it's, it's guidance, whether it's emotional experience, whether it's emotional support, whatever the case may be, just if, you, if you're providing other people with perspectives, uh, not just money, right, but if you're providing people with perspectives, then you have to make sure that you are taking the steps to replenish that, to improve that, to continue to get better, to treat yourself as somebody that you, you truly are responsible for helping. And that's one of the rules out of this book. Obviously, there's, there's 12 of them, that, that, and, and every single one of them has a reason to be there. Uh, very impactful. This is one of those rules that I'm inviting every single one of you uh, to ask yourself the question, you know, do I do more for other people than I do for myself? Do I find greater motivation helping somebody else as opposed to helping myself? Right? And this is not a question of being selfish. Like, I want to make sure that we don't go down that path, right? There's a lot of people that are happily selfish and they don't do anything for anybody else. They only worry about doing for themselves. But, but the, the argument behind this is if you actually do enough to position yourself well, if you're a good person and you, you position yourself well financially, you're going to be able to help a lot of people. If you have a lot of people that respect you and respect your opinion, and you do everything in your power to make sure that you are providing an unbiased opinion, something that really reflects that you took the time to prepare and to learn to be able to share something that would be meaningful, that, that would have the ability to help another person. If you're doing all of those things, we, we hope that you take very seriously the process of continuing to help yourself so that you have the ability to help other people. I highly recommend you get the book. Right and and take a look at it. Uh, it's uh, probably one of the the best books you're gonna come across. Easy to read. This is not a you know over scientific psychological uh, difficult book to read. It's, it's an easy reading. A lot of phenomenal stories that go along. Highly recommend it. Uh, uh, to Dr. Peterson, please uh, keep doing what you're doing out there. I know that a lot of people, including myself, can absolutely say I'm deeply grateful for your perspective. This is one of those rules that I needed for myself. With that being said, till the next one, Daily Crossing. Make sure you pass it around, subscribe. What's your favorite book? And what exactly is it that you like about that book? What message? Anything that's specific? And if you read this book, what is your opinion about it? Let us know. I want to definitely, definitely hear your perspective. So thank you for watching us. Until the next one, please subscribe, like, pass it around. Thank you. Please stand up and put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Patrick Ray Davis. Enjoy the big pizza!